Okay, for this segment, we are going to look at configuring a turnout. How do we configure the CDI, the actual node, to throw a turnout? Okay, here we are at the computer. So we're going to go ahead and open up our interface okay. dialog and pull up the, um, the node. And we'll go ahead and dive right into this, uh, this uh, segment port I.O. block here. Now, before we get into this, we're going to actually have to configure two lines for one turnout. It's a little bit confusing. Um, if you use the, um, uh, the, the stall motor drive, the SMD8, it's all done with just one line. Uh -huh. But because these are wired uh, such that you can use them as input and outputs, as well as driving a stall motor, you have to use two points um, to drive your stall motor. I'm going to bring over this drawing that's from RR Circuits. And what you can see here is these are the um, these are the leads that go out to the stall motor. Now, if I slide over there, um, you'll see that these are the. Oh, let me just pull it over ah. a little bit. Oh. Um, you can see these two wires here drive the stall motor. Okay, so that's how we're going to configure this here. That actually goes to the switch. So that's exactly how I wired out uh, this little test layout. If you look real closely, this says uh, five, six, seven, eight. So those are your four points there, five, six, seven, eight. Um, and, and we're going to use five and six. I've wired it out exactly the same here. So the way to do that is we're going to have to put line five and line six in use both at the same time. So let me go ahead and click on line five. So I'm going to make one of them turn out normal position. I just want to designate it that way. And now we're going to use the output function. Remember, before we're using the input function just for detection, because we're driving a stall motor right now, we're going to use an output function. And we're going to say we're going to turn it on to be active. So that makes sense, right? Okay. No delay. And we do, drive down to here, and we see that we have our events. These are more for inputs, right? This is when this happens, when some sort of an event happens, that it creates an event. Some sort of action happens on the line, it creates an event. Here, an event on the LCC network will create some sort of a state change out on the layout. That's an output then from the LCC system. So what we're going to do here is we're going to turn this thing on when this command 30 is issued. Okay, And then event 2 is we're going to turn that off when 31 is issued. Okay. Now comes the tricky part. So what we're going to do is do the same thing on line 6. And we're going to call that turnout um, thrown. I think that's the right term. Right. Now the output function, high for it. We're going to switch it around, but it's going to be the other way around on the events. So this time, instead of using the default events, I'm actually going to go back to the events that I used previously. So event one is 30. I'm going to copy that. Now I'm going to go over to the turnout throne. Now I'm going to make that event two is 30. Does that make sense? In other words, um, 30 was what was triggering um, the on on event one. But now we're going to make it turn off on this event. So the line changed to off. Right, write that. Now for the on one. Let's go back to the normal. This one, we're going to copy, we're going to flip it, right? Go back here to event one, paste it here, right? And this time, we're going to have inactive. I hope I got that right. What did I do here? Line inactive. So this should be active. Hope I got that right. We'll see in a moment. So I'm going to Click down here to save all the changes. If you That way you make sure you caught them all in case you didn't uh, catch it. OK, so now what I'm going to do is, is this 30 and 31. Realize that was the, uh, the two events for both these outputs, line 5 and line 6, will be used to uh, either open or throw uh, and close and return the, to normal to switch. So again, just like before, we'll do the sensor turnout creation. So this time we're going to call it username turnout because I don't care it's going to run both the outputs and I'm going to do copy and paste on 30 and then for 31 copy and paste so this is active inactive and hopefully this will work so before I hit click make a turnout I'm going to go back to my decoder pro here 
I'm going to go ahead and pull up the tool, tables, turnouts this time, right? There shouldn't be any turnouts. There aren't on my test layout. Um, I haven't done this part yet. So we're going to go ahead and make a turnout. Boom, there it is. 30 and 31, state, throne, or normal. And it's not working. What did I do wrong? So what I'm going to do is actually just uh, flip the This is so painful. There we go. There we go. Okay, so when the turnout is normal, I'm going to say active high. The output fi function is active high, and then the logic works like we talked about. When it's thrown, it's going to turn to active low, and then turnout's thrown. So I don't know if you can hear that in the background. Now let me just check real quick if it's throwing the right way. So right now it's in normal. And it says state closed, so that's the right way around. Throne, sure enough, it's in the throne position. Had I wired this the other way around, I could just flip these two output functions, normal and throne, and then it would work the other way around, if that makes sense. Okay, so that's the end of that. Now we've got the LCC side configured, which, by the way, is totally independent of the computer. I'm just using this as a window into it. But we want to pull up our little fancy panel. Remember, we made a panel there. But this little switch doesn't work right now. I want to make it work. So what I can do is right click on that, edit. Now we're going to bring the information for that turnout. Remember we created that event turnout. Done. And now, see it's normal. And now it's thrown. Dun dun. So there you go. Now you've configured a turnout. Congratulations. And that's all I have for today.